welcome to this week's video. It is a very different setting today because I decided to film downstairs. My family is all out. So I decided to take use of the amazing lighting we get in front of our front room window and film here instead. This week I am going to be doing another Valentine's themed video. I am doing a chic sort of very plain Valentine's makeup look. Um, it's very classic and simple and I liked it for Valentine's because then you can wear it with any sort of outfit that you wanted. Um, and it's very cute for like dressing up or dressing down to go out on a date because I know different people like different types of dates and stuff like that So if you're going to something really casual, this is really good If you wanted to dress this up a bit put a bit more eyeshadow on then it'd be nice to go out for like a nice meal or something Other than that, let's get on with the video. I am wearing clothes. I'm just in my pajamas and Yeah, I am going to first prime my skin with the Benefit Pore Professional Pro Balm to minimise the appearance of pores. So I'm going to pop that underneath my eyes. Just a little pea sized amount under there. Also, I have so many spots, it's unreal. And I probably won't look into the camera a lot because I am using an iPad, which means it's a very, very, very good mirror. And uh, while that primer is setting, I'm just going to go over my spots with the Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. Um, and this is in shade 2, cool medium. I'm actually a warm skin tone, um, but this is really good for just my spots. I use a different one under my eyes. I, if I was using this one under my eyes, um, i definitely get like a like shade 1. Is that dirt? Oops. Have washed my face. I really love this setup and this lighting, and I like how I've got all my makeup down here on a little side table. However, I need to do something about the mess in the background. I'm ever so sorry, my house is a mess, and everything keeps rolling off the table. And now I'm going to go under my eyes with the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, which is running out, but that's because I love it. some more of this and that is in the shade um, 010 ivory Ugh. oh they're with me that's Harrison you've never met Harrison you need to we should I oh, I might film later sorry about that <laughs> come in it's not on you come in what have you Harrison put the Badly. This is just going to be a train wreck of a video, I can tell. I am going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in shade Dawn. This And I'm only going to use a little bit and just um, really lightly have a really light um, cover of it because I don't want too much coverage because it's quite a light look. There we go, and now I am going to use my Eco Tools brush and just some powder to just kind of set that out. Oh, and that was the Gosh Mineral Powder in shade 02, if y'all are interested. And then I'm going to take... You can hear him in the kitchen. Harrison, come and sit down, you're creaking the floors. That's that seat there is not in shot. You can just sit and just go on your phone. Mm. <laughs> this is staying in. I'm not editing this out. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes. If you get, if you bring more eggs in, I'm gonna kill. <laughs> you're the rolling pin. I'm going to. Ooh, I won't really wipe them. Stay still. I'm going to use the Harrison. You threw an apple at me! You're going to use the Harrison. Huh? You're going to use the Harrison. Piss off. What? <laughs> I'm going to use the Benefit, um, what even is this? Hula bronzer, just under my cheekbones, just to add a bit of colour. Um, not necessarily to contour, but just to make it nice and light. Um, summery. A little bit more lit. I am literally just, I keep turning white. The balance on this camera is not the best. Oh, 
going to add a bit of uh, my hairline too. And then I'm going to use the Benefit Rockature blush off, just on my cheeks. Um, I normally use my Clinique one, but I like to focus it's a bit more matte. I'm going for the non shininess today because I was feeling the vibes. And now I am going to do my brows with my. I don't know what this is. I think it's Rimmel, but it's in. I use, it's the only thing I use, so <laughs> you can cross reference that if you like. So I've gone under my eyes with some concealer. Sorry, the camera cut out. Um, and just gonna blend that in with my beauty blender. To sharpen up them brows. Now I am going to grab, not gr grab, grab my 17 metallic eye cream. And that's just gonna go all over the lid. Um, just to add a bit of colour. Because I think it looks a little cute. And this one stays on so well without primer. It's so easy. I'm, I'm not sure if they do it anymore though, because this is from years and years ago. Okay. And the thing I love about it, it seems to like contour itself. See what I mean? But I am still going to add a bit of my hula bronzer just into my crease, just to kind of tie it together. Um, just like loosely in my crease. Ooh, there we go. And now I'm going to use my Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner just to do a quick flick on my eyes. Love me some eyeliner, but it's so difficult to do. There we go, and I've got some nice little flicks. I tried to make them as even as possible, but I don't think that worked. Um, what am I going to do next? I am going to line my lips with this new look pure colour lip liner pencil um, I don't really use as much I just think the colour goes with the other thing I'm going to use just you wait and see so I'm going to line my lips with this and now I'm going to use the Revlon Ultra HD matte colour lipstick liquid lipstick thing in the shade It doesn't have a shade. Mm -hmm. Oh, mascara. To that in the wrong order. Um, I am going to use my Rimmel London Volume Colorist um, Mascara in Extreme Black. I'm just gonna wipe that on. Please excuse the coughing and sputtering. Harrison's choking himself to death in the kitchen trying to make a bacon sandwich. Done. Give me one second, I'll be done. What is it? He's broken the hob. I'll be back. So there we go, that is the finished product. I'm sorry for all of the interruptions because my boyfriend is being a bit of a child. But we love him and that's okay. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really liked filming it and I hope you like this look. I absolutely love this lipstick. I have not worn it properly before, but I'm already in love. So I will definitely be purchasing more of these and they taste really nice, like like raspberries or something. Something fruity, it's really nice. But yeah, other than that, adios.